So another popular evaluation metric that is used in machine learning to measure the performance of a model is the root mean squared error. Uh, technically, this is just the square root of MSC that we already looked at previously. So uh, in the previous slide, this was our MSC. So basically that's the square root. Um, and it's actually defined as a measurement or it's, it's given by, um, uh, it's measured by taking the square root of the average of the square differences, okay? This is our error between the prediction and the actual value. Uh, formally, it's given by this mathematical equation. So we get the square of the predicted minus the actual, okay? For all the samples in our data set, then we divide that or we get the average um, using N. N is the total sample, okay? In worker, we call those instances, the total instances, right? And then we find the square root, okay? So essentially here, it just represents the sample deviation of the differences between the predicted value and the observed value, okay? It's called residuals. We already looked at that. Residuals can be expressed as, you know, the difference between your actual value minus y hat. This is your prediction, okay? So that is actually a prediction error. Sometimes we refer to this as uh, residuals, okay? And residuals are just a measure of how far from the regression line the data points are. Now, RMSC is also a, a better performance metric um, because it squares the errors before taking the averages, okay? So we also uh, use RMSC, especially when we want to get the performance or compare the performance of two or more models, right? Where the score will be between zero and one. So the lower the score, the better. Okay, the ideal value basically is zero, but theoretically speaking, uh, this is not possible. Okay, or maybe it's never achieved. Another thing to keep it note of uh, when using RMSC, RMSC uh, uh, like MSC is sensitive to outliers. Okay, now MSC and RMSC may be useful, especially if you want to see uh, if the outliers are just messing around with your prediction. Okay. So that will give you an opportunity to decide or probably investigate if this outlast needs to be removed altogether from your data set, okay? Um, and then that way you might discover some features that are significant in your data set, okay? Now in, in, in Worker, uh, I just ran linear regression here and you can see we can uh, uh, get this value here. So uh, running a linear regression uh, in our housing data set uh, will give us or produce um, a root mean squared RMSC of 4.9145, okay? So, and that's it as far as uh, RMSC is very popular. Um, and in fact, in our next um, slide, we're gonna look at correlation of coefficient and co correlation of um, uh, determination and other uh, evaluation metrics.